In this video, we're going to learn about how to find a record that has been created uh, dynamically and then uh, have a link for the user to navigate to the record. So this is a very common scenario when you use flow to create or update records. So let's let's quickly see that in action. So to demonstrate this, what I have done is I have a flow that is already built. So this is the flow. Uh, so basically this flow helps users to create a contact very quickly from opportunity page, something like this. So on the opportunity, I have added a quick action. A name is con add contact. As you can see, if you go to the opportunity object, so there is a quick action, add contact, and this is launching that screen flow. So this is launching a screen flow, which has the name uh, add contact from opportunity, which is this. So this screen flow is launched from opportunity. So let's see what happens when uh, we launch this flow. So when add contact is clicked, a uh, flow gets launched, and this this shows me okay this is the name of the opportunity that has launched the flow and this is the name of the account that this opportunity is associated to along with that a form for the users to input you know contact details let's say i enter um, kate williamson that's my contact and i'll just say uh, dot com and address right now this is pre-populated so the account that you, the, the address that you see on this form, this is coming from the contact. So whatever the contact address is, that gets pre-populated right here. Of course, user can change it or can just go ahead and then, you know, save this one. So let's see what happens when I click on save. I'll just hit next button. So I get a message saying that new contact has been created, but isn't it enough? Right, because if I click on finish, the user right will still stay on the same page. So the user has to manually go here and then search for whether the user, you know, has just been created or not, right? Kate Williamson. So this is not very intuitive or not user friendly, right? This is what we're gonna change it in this you know video. So we're gonna dynamically find the record that has been created and then you know put a link on the success message saying that this is where you know you can find the new record that is being created. Let's see how we can do it, which is very, very simple or fairly simple. If we go to my my flow, right? This is where our yeah, this is where we're gonna do that. Okay. So as you can see the flow, so I use you know the record ID to get the uh, record you know information about the opportunity, and then I use this assignment to you know uh, fetch the account name, account city, account country. Because if you could recollect, I was just pre-populating the account country and contact right on the on the contact form. So that's the job of this assignment you know element and then this is where we are creating a new contact just look at the name of this element it's new contact right and right in this resources manager you find a variable called contact id from create contact so this is something what happens is salesforce automatically creates it for you the moment if there is a data element right that deals with uh, you know database insert or update especially you know insert so Salesforce automatically stores the ID of the record that is being created. In our case, we are creating a new contact. So Salesforce automatically creates this variable, you know, called uh, contact ID from contact uh, from you know from this element. So this is the this is the key pointer that we need to remember and which we are going to use it. Okay, let's see how we can use that. So in my Oh, my bad i said new contact this is a screen you know i i i uh, i'm referring to this create contact so this is the data element that creates you know the contact isn't it so contact id from create and let's see how we can use this so in the success screen in the success screen let's go to the uh, api and uh, let's go here this is the message that is being populated isn't it so what i'll do is i'll just say click here to navigate or to see the contact yeah so this is the message that I want to populate and right here in the click right here right so I'm gonna make this as a URL for the user to navigate so I just select this one and then I'll just use this hyperlink click here so this is going to you know uh, help me to help me to you know uh, uh, have some variables added so this is where you know things are going to 
uh, get interesting so what i'm going to do is i'll just click on insert resource i just close that one i just click on insert resource i'm going to select that contact id from create contact data element click here so this is the one that uh, is given right just copy that one copy that one now go to this click here select this one text and then click on hyperlink just say slash followed by that create contact okay that's it all you have to do is just just insert that resource name with a slash you know with a forward slash that's it let's say save so nothing you will see here let's say done okay now let's save a new version because i just made a change i just wanted to you know activate the new version i just created a new version click on activate now let's go back to the page opportunity page and launch this flow so i'll click on add contact of course the screen is getting loaded i'm gonna use tony stark just say tony at the rate ventures.com and let, let me leave this you know pre-populated once us country and then let's say next of course now we can see there is a link appearing right now let's see what happens when i click on this link so click here it just takes me directly to that contact that has just been created in our case it is tony stark that's all it is so this is how you can dynamically find a url so if i go back right here again a quick recap so salesforce automatically right stores the contact id in a variable automatically gets created that's the first thing that we have to remember number two wherever you want to use it right so in my case it is a display text right so what i did is i'm just using this in the hyperlink that's all it is so once that is done you can able to navigate the user to the record that has just been created i hope it helps thank you